Hey, what's good family? In today's video, we're just going to be taking a look at how to look at the options analysis in Moomoo. If you haven't already taken advantage of it, be sure to click on the Moomoo link down below in the description and get up to 15 free stocks when you sign up using that link down below in the description. And now without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so here we are in the Moomoo app. And all we're going to do is take a look at whatever stock we want. In this instance, let's use Tesla. So we're going to click on Tesla. We're going to click on the options and then under options, you see it says chain analysis or unusual activity. In this video, we're going to be focused on analysis and we're going to be talking about everything under this analysis tab and how you can kind of use it to make some informed decisions. So uh, first off, we have just the overall volume this is going to be the volume for a certain day a certain time period so the blue line represents the volume the orange line represents the put to call ratio uh, whenever the orange line is high there are a lot of puts out there or whenever it's higher there are a lot of puts out there uh, whenever it's lower there are less puts out there so do with that what you will uh, going on to more of what I've been getting a lot of questions about. So right here, there, there are a couple sections like this. So right here we have the volume and below that we have open interest. So let's actually start on open interest. Open interest is these are going to be the amount of contracts open coming into that trading day. So say today is October 11th and I was looking at this at the start of the day. I could see at the start of the day, there were a load of calls at the 270 strike price. You can also see the highest amount of puts were at the 220 strike price. Taking this information into account, this helps me know where kind of where the extremes are predicted to go. So that's something you want to want to keep in mind. Maybe see if that lines up with your charting. Now going on and looking at the volume analysis, the reason I like to look at the volume by the strike price is because this is the volume of the strike price being traded that day. This one will fluctuate throughout the day. This one will not. Open interest, you're not going to see that moving throughout the day. Volume, this gets kind of adjusted throughout the day. So if you see one strike is getting more volume than the other or more more puts are being traded or more calls are being traded on one. If a lot of people are buying a bunch of calls, then the market makers may want to bring it back down. Or if a bunch of people are buying the puts, then the market makers may want to bring it back up. So, so you can kind of in your head combine like where you start with the open interest and then combine what the volume is looking like for them. It's not an exact science. Uh, there's no way to know clearly exactly what's going on but this does give a broader idea and this is kind of how i run my options analysis it's like hey what do i think is going on in the options contract okay so we started the day out with all these puts at this 220 level all right i see that tesla kind of dropped today where's the volume today there's a lot of puts at the 220 level i see there's a still a lot of volume there all right, now I see there is volume increasing at the 215 and the or the 215 and the 2175 level as well. Coming into the day, there wasn't as much volume at those levels, but you know, as the day went on, there was an increase in volume. So I just wanted to make this video because I get a lot of questions about this. I want to make this video. I truly believe when it comes to trading platforms, Mumu has the best in-app tools so if you haven't already taken advantage of it be sure to check out mumu down below in the description get your 15 free stocks even if you don't trade in the app which you probably will over time once you realize all that mumu has to offer either way you can still just use it for the tools but it's definitely something you want to have in your back pocket if you made this far or learned anything be sure to smash the like button if for some reason you're new here and haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.